And this is some chill music to be able to rock with, vibe with on a Sunday. Actually, you can play this on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and back to Sunday again. That's how I feel about it and feel about this artist. What's happening? Your man Brandon in the building, Next Legacy Radio. Thank you for uh, all people listening live and the people that will be listening on iHeartRadio, Apple, iTunes, Chromecast, um, and all your your download uh, podcast circuits. That's uh, that's just tremendous. A lot of action, a lot of energy, a lot of people online have been waiting for this interview. Um, and I want to shout out all the people out there again, once again, 13 years of doing online radio uh, from all the, you know, uh, celebrity guests and the people that's been tuned in, rocking with your boy for a long period of time. It's an honor and a privilege every time I have a show. Everybody's here filed in like an hour strong just to be able to just, you know, listen to me conduct the interview. Um, I feel like the traffic, though, has nothing to do with me, but more about my guests that I have here tonight. And uh, this guy had a chance to do some homework, listen to his music, check this man out. And uh, you know what? Listen, uh, you know, hip-hop's a crowded uh, arena of, of people but uh, one thing I like about my man T Dot is the fact that this man is, you know, he comes, he comes with his own flavor. This man has not only talent and the drive to do what he want to do, but um, it's a different sound than today's artist who wants to sound like other artists. You know what I mean? This man is not trying to sound like anybody else but himself, and I gotta give that man props up top. So with that being said, make sure you follow my man on Instagram at play T dot the letter T. And if you want to book this man, make sure you go to play T dot at gmail dot com. And without further ado, I got my man right here on Next Legacy Radio. T dot in the building. What's happening, man? Happy holidays, happy Sunday. What's good? Man, Sunday, fun day, happy holidays. B, what's going on? Hey, man. Appreciate you, oh, man. What you got hey. going on, y'all? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I mean, listen, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to let the listeners out here know exactly how I feel, not just about your music, but also about where you're going and what you're doing with it. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, in a in a crowded arena, like I said, it's an honor and a privilege not just to have you on, but just to see you, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, in the thresholds of, of, of all kinds of future stardom and, and things like that that's going on. That's what I believe in. It's good. It's good. Man, that's, good? Man, that's love, bro. That, 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 everything good, dog. Everything good, man. That's love, bro. Major love, bro. Shoot, man. Shout out to you and your platform for having me out, first and foremost, man. Uh, man, we just trying to get it, bro. You know, once again, man, kind of back to what you was following in the saying, Mr. B, bro. Like, we ain't trying to be like nobody else, man. There's a lot of a lot of people you could be, you know, be like, and there's a lot of people that can inspire you, but the ultimate goal is to be you in this own authenticity, you know, 100%. So, Man, follow what you got for you, man. Uh, that's 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 my goal. That's my motive, and that's my message to inspire others, man. Is just be yourself. Never give up. Don't quit your grind, and man, everything that you that you've been wanting is gonna come to you as long as you keep that that that, that mentality that nothing can stop you. You feel me? Only thing that can stop you is yourself. Amen to that. And look, I'm 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 more inspired. I mean, you know, I feel like we come from the same cloth where when it comes to the culture of music, hip hop in general, where I feel like this, like, you know, it, it it's not gonna take a lot to motivate me, but if it's if you got something that the people wanna hear and that you wanna give to the people and if it puts a smile on my face and I can still rock with it um, that means a lot in 2020, you know what I mean? Because, again, like I said, it's a crowded arena. So if you can be able to do that with, you know, you put something out there, the people out there, the masses, the media folks, the, the, the fans, the new fans, everybody out there, you know, rocking with it, vibing with it, smiling, you know, and, and, and playing that, and playing this music up loud in their in they cars, I mean, it's a win-win, right? All day long, bro, all day long. That's what it's about, man, getting it out there to the people, man, making sure people can relate to it. not just your music but to you as an artist, man. So that, that's what we're trying to do, man. Let them know who T-Dot is, man. Let them know where I'm from. Let them know how we do it in, 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 in my section of where we're from, you feel me? Uh, and just, you know, man, like once again, just try to be authentic as possible. And and, and, and it ain't no imitation, bro. We're just doing what we're doing, having a good time while we're doing it, man. Amen. And we got T Dot, 
the next giant in hip hop on Next Legacy right now. And for the people out there that's listening to you right now for the very, very first time, um, I know your bio, and I'm sure a lot of your followers do, but tell some of these new people a little bit about who you are, what's inspired you, and uh, you know what I'm saying, what, what's, what, what, what you got rocking. Well, man, uh, I've been doing uh, music, been a part of my life, uh, pretty much my whole life, man. was inspired way back. Uh, my grandmother was a big influence on, on music and instrumentation. Um, actually started, like, recording and rapping back in about 2010 when I was going through college um, and just kind of stuck with it through going through some uh, through some challenges and trying to get my degree in college, man. And I felt like if I could get a degree in school, why can't I do anything with this music and this entertainment and this, and this music and rapping, bro? So... That's just my mindset where I'm at with it right now, man. Anything, you know, anything is possible, man. Like I say, the only limitation is yourself, man. So the potential is, is, is all up to that person, man. So, you know, we're just trying to push and get that music out there, get it to the fans. But, man, uh, this year, uh, 2020, you know, pandemic situation, things were crazy, man. So we kind of buckled down, uh, had to focus, and we got, our, uh, got the first album out. My first actual album released on August uh, 21st, 2020 this year called Connecting the Dots. And we just back doing, man, trying to be consistent with the music, the vibes, the videos, and, and just continue to bring that heat for people to relate, grind to. And uh, like I say, continue to motivate and inspire others to, man, to, you know, whatever your, your grind is, whatever your uh, whatever your niche is in life, man, go get it. You feel me? T-Dot, what's, what, what's been your, what's been like, all right, you've been, You've been listening to music, you know, I heard you say grandma's been heavy, heavy influence as far as, you know, an inspiration. What was your first song, your first hip hop song that made you be like, you know what, I could do this too. Not because they doing it, but because a song or an artist inspired you to be like, you know what, I could be just as big as that person. Man, uh, being born in you know being born in the, in the in the late eighties, bro, and kind of coming up in the nineties generation of rap, bro. Uh, one of my first re- favorite rap songs is uh Warren G and uh Nate Dogg Regulators, bro. It was you know the video was iconic, the movie it came from was iconic, bro. Um, you know it was just it was something I knew uh you know I really was supposed to be listening to, but at the same time it felt good. You feel me? So. It was just a part of the culture of music changing and modernizing for that time, and it just continued to, you know, be instilled for me into that point, you know what I mean? And even from, like I say, just dealing with instrumentation and whatnot, man, it just it made me say, hey, if I like instruments and music, I can also like this rap too, man. So it just kind of stuck with me all in one, fam. Have you ever had a song or you, you, you talk about Regulate, Warren G, Nate Dogg, iconic, classic, song you know what i mean have you ever had a song that you listened to when you just got chills just listening to whatever artist that you was listening to whatever song you was listening to at one point in time man definitely man definitely bro uh listening to uh some of j cole first stuff man um listening to some of that that carter one uh some of carter one Lil wayne stuff bro um uh, listening to Luda stuff back in the day. I'm a big Ludacris fan as well, man. Chicken and Beer. Um, back for the uh, first classic. time. You know? Yeah, I mean, that was just all classic stuff, man. You know, especially, like I said, just coming out of the South and where I'm from. Um, once I, man, Texas, big shout out to Texas as well. Swisher House, man. Mike Jones, uh, Pimp C, Bun B, uh, Slim Thug, man. All those cats, man. It was just, man. Modern, I mean, excuse me, music is always changing, man. So it's, I can't say it's just one particular artist or one particular thing that just, just stuck me with it, man. It's just the continuing change and, and the moderniza- modernization of it, man, just to be like, man, this shit is still fire, it's still going, it's still it's still changing, it's still evolving, but it's still great at the same time, you feel me? You say that, and the arena is packed, like I said, to start the show. There's so many people who want to get put on, and I'm from this same era as well where you could just be like, listen, the more the merrier. Everybody can go go get it. Everybody can go make money. Everybody can go do shows. There's room for room for room for room for everybody. You know what I mean? So my question to you yeah. is when you when you listen when you listen to certain people nowadays and, and and just the marketing has changed compared to the you know, the era that you and I grew up listening to music 
when you listen to, you know, people out there now, you listen to or you look at how marketing has changed, social media has changed, the way you do records have changed, the way music is played has changed. Um, how do you, how do you, and you don't have to tell me all your, all your marketing techniques in your game because, you know, your PR and your people, I know they got, ulti- they got ultimate plans for what you want to do going forward. But, you know, when you look at how, ch- how much has changed over the last, you know, two, three decades, like, you know, how do you see, you know, just the way that music is put out nowadays? Is it, is it still a good win or is it just a, you know, it's just a crowded arena, like I said earlier? Man, uh, to, to 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 some degree, that that's definitely true, man. Um, I will say the the music game has become a little, like you said, a little packed, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, um, I just feel like if you doing you, man, you you and, and you're good at what you do and you're you're true to what you do, man, you're gonna stand out either way, man. Um, you just gotta, you know, as for those artists out there, those producers, those videographers, photographers, et cetera, man, you gotta. You got to make sure you're doing something different. You got to make sure that you're unique in your own way that's going to allow you to be a standout or um, be noticed, not necessarily more, but just a little different than other artists that are in your field or other people that are in your field, man. And you can't quit. You can't take breaks. You can't uh, You can't get comfortable, man. You can't feel like uh, because I've gotten here, this is, you know, this is where I'm going to stop or this is I'm, I'm comfortable. You gotta always, act, you know, have that hunger, and at the same time remain humble because you you never know who who can who can drop some gems or who can open the door, or you know what 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 what's lying in front of you if you if you don't play play it right with your head, man. So it's just about keeping your eyes and ears open and you staying down and doing the groundwork, man. And once again, everything's gonna fall into place. It's just, man, you gotta trust into the manifestations you speak in your life, bro. Man, how you how you talking so humble, man? All these people out there, look, look. You know, you know how it is at, at certain stages and ages in people's lives. They're like, you know what? Hey, I got this hit song right now. You know what I mean? Want it all? It's getting good, good reviews. A lot of people love it. I got a video out. All this stuff right now. But you still sound like you're starving, bro. Like, where's your, where's your extra motivation coming from? Because I know Grandmama inspires you. The, the music game inspires you. But where are you getting this extra layer of stuff that a lot of people? are just hella lazy and they just don't want to do some of the effort put in that work that you obviously are putting in. Man, every day I wake up and I look and I look in the, and look at the people that live in the house with me and my family, bro. That's the motivation. That's all the motivation I need right there, bro. Um, making sure I, uh, I provide what they need, you know what I'm saying? By, by any means necessary. So that's just the goal right there, man. Knowing, um, they're inspired by what I, what I'm able to do and, you know, the, the life lessons I'm able to give, the life, the life gems, the you know, the things they're able to give me, you know, that that turns into my music and, and vice versa, bro. So that's all the motivation I need right there, man. Knowing that I could, uh, you know, like I say, inspire and motivate them, and they they give me that same energy to go out there and do what I need to do, and it's it's just a synergetic, uh, synergetic thing, man. And continuously trying to get there until we get to that 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 super point where it's it's it's, it's out the roof and. We making big moves, you know what I'm saying? Calling the shots, you feel me? All the way at the top. I feel it, cause you putting a smile on my face right now. I'm over here listening to you, and I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to step my radio game up and not just promote this man, but do whatever I can. I'm trying to be on your team right now. That's how I'm feeling. So <laughs> you know, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are, are vibing with you right now. We got T Dot in the building on Next Legacy Radio. You know what I'm saying? And um, what what's been like through your journey of you know putting songs together, collaborating with certain people, um, production. Uh, you know what I'm saying from from everything. What's been what's been a memorable moment or moments for you, and what's been challenging so far? Um, you know, diving deep into this industry. Oh uh, man, a couple of years back, man, we had some uh, some local stuff pop off in relation to just uh, having a platform for artists to perform, man. And it was uh, it was really kind of surprising, bro. Um, just on the strength that. I had performed before, but it just went on the on the on the scale that that kind of perpetuated me into the into a a known light in my city or whatever. And man, it was just the feedback and the and the uh, the audience man was just really you know really you know really messing with it a whole lot more than I expected. And that there alone just kind of opened opened a whole another uh, a whole another light in my head, if you will, man, to be like, man, this 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 is really what it is, man. 
But, uh, you know, coming back forward to now, man, in the pandemic, man, I was kind of, I won't say I was slow footing around, but I was really being over methodical or overthinking with my project, you know, on my album. And then, man, you know, when the pandemic, you know, kind of, kind of took effect, it was like, man, well, man, you know, something can happen tomorrow. You might not even be able to get to the studio. Something can happen tomorrow. You might not even have a chance to write some music. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, man, I can't be sitting here, you know, sitting on my hands, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the best time is now. So that's, that's, that's ultimately where I'm at, man, staying focused for now, you know, controlling what's in front of me, you know, not worrying about yesterday and, man, just putting my best foot forward down for tomorrow, you did. Some people struggle with, uh, you know, they got they got heat. They probably, you know, and, and when I say they, I'm going to include you. You probably, you know, live in the studio. You probably got, like, you know, 50 songs ready to go. And you're struggling with, all right, which song is going to go on this album or what single is going to drop or what video I'm going to do, this, that, and the other, right? So when you get hit with a situation like, you know, just making sure that, you know, you're you're trying to put out, the the right kind of you know song at the right kind of time in a lot of ways like you said you overthink it on on occasion but sometimes do you think that like you know what let me and I'm and I'm thinking out loud as, as I'm interviewing you because I don't have no questions I just go off off top and I just start coming up with stuff as you talk so I'm thinking maybe like you know you might have like you know two or three people like random people that you you know but don't know that will probably give you, you know how movies do it. Like, I'm going to put it in this scenario. You know how movies do it. Before the movie comes out, they got, like, you know, they got testers, people out there that will go in and look at the movie and they'll, they'll tell you what they like and don't like. You know what I mean? Bring that right, honest right, opinion right. or yeah. feedback. Um, do you kind of think that that could, that could work in this industry when it comes to, you know, just, just trying to get a feel for it? Because I, I know your struggle. I, there's many artists that I've interviewed and talked to, and they've always held or had, like, some kind of issue with trying to put something out because, you know what, it feels good. I love it, but, well, the people love it. You know what I mean? So do you think that stuff would work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely do think it works, man. You need that feedback, man, because if you're not being honest with your, be honest with yourself, man, you're not being honest with your fan base or your listeners. You feel what I'm saying? So it's definitely important to get, you know, get some honest feedback. And you don't like you say it could be somebody random because you don't want nobody that's gonna just say, oh yeah, it sound good, it sound good, because they know you or they, they don't want to hurt your feelings or whatever the case may be. Get somebody that's gonna give you the raw honest truth because that's gonna bring right. the best beast out of you. Uh, in, in your craft, once again, if it's music, if it's photography, if it's radio, you want to be able to bring out the best so you can get the best result that you're looking for in your expectation on your craft, you feel me? So it's like, right. man, shoot, just, just just take it as it is, man. If it ain't what it is, go back to the drawing board and, you know, you got to come a little harder. I mean, it's just like sports, you feel what I'm saying? If LeBron go out there and he shoot two or, two or 20, everybody going to be like LeBron the GOAT, you know? So it's just, man, you got to – you got to pick your battles, man, and sometimes you just can't be afraid to fail. Failing sometimes, you know, failing is not a failure. It's just a, a lesson to get you better. You know what I mean? Have you ever had a song where you just like, you know what, hey, this is it. This is the hottest thing ever. I didn't lay something real, real ill. The world is going to feel this. And then you had some people on your team was like, nah, nah, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had that? Yeah, yeah. I can't even go live, fam. I can't even lie. Like you know, I got a, I got a man core, my, 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 my guys, man. That I, you know, I pretty much group text or you know group email. Hey, bro, just uh, just drop this one, you know. And everybody kind of chime in, give me a little feedback, you know. And then you got the ones that you know that's like, man, you know what? I'm just gonna surprise them because I know it go that hard. You feel what I'm saying? But uh. Mm-hmm. I had just kind of started back rapping, uh, or not even going to say rapping, just kind of getting back into releasing, man, uh, in 2019, kind of bit ramping up for the project or whatever. And my first single I released then, bro, man, people was, you know, people was jamming with it. Shout out to, uh, I mean, big shout out to my team, bro, Cool Down Music Group, man. Excuse me, I ain't even shout them out. Cool Down Music Group. Shout out my DJ, my CEO, DJ Doc Cooley. Shout out my people, Dr. Jack, my PR. Shout out to Link Squad, you feel me? Whole lot of Link shit. Um. But yeah, bro, uh and, and me and my people, man, we dropped a song above standards featuring my partner Carez, bro. Um and man, it it was it was it was a it was a different, different, different vibe, man, different, different song, especially from from, from my area or whatever, and man, people was gravitating, vibing, 
they wanted more, you know what I'm saying? And that just kind of gave me the drive and, and still to go ahead and, like I say, get that project and, you know, stick with this music and really grind it out to keep giving, you know, my, my people what they want, man, because if you if you be yourself, you know, they're going to they gonna want what you got, bro. So we just trying to mm-hmm. you know, keep it real and, all, and keep it pushing with the music. Hey, man, I got T-Dot the Great right here on Next Legacy Radio. I am Brandon here, um, you know, just celebrating this man's music having a one-on-one conversation that the world is definitely going to listen to because it's laced with game. Um, you know, it, it just brings up my whole thing, like the questions that I ask just brings it up. Yes, men. Like, I'm glad that you are in a circle of people who are straight up 100 with you, and they, they, won't, they won't filter shit. Because to me, that'll be the yeah, worst yeah. thing that anybody can do that's on your team. It's just going to be like, yeah, that's dope. When they know goddamn well, you know what, hey, maybe you need to switch this up a little bit or maybe you need to do woo, woo, woo. You know what I mean? And, and to me, I think it's hella cool that you got you got, you got got the start of something cool that you got people that you trust, that trust you, that can be able to put that out there. Because I'm telling you now, we've seen the hard times that so many people in this industry have faced when they're around a bunch of people and those people are not for them, they're out for the money that they can potentially make off them. And to me, it's cool that you got somebody that's there with you from the start. So how do you feel about not just what I said, but just when you look at big picture industry and just being laced with a situation that you know is coming from a good place? Man, I mean, bro, it makes it that much better, you feel me? I mean, it's like what you've been, you know, it's like being, you know – a kid waiting on Christmas all year long, you know, it's like your parents tell you, you know, if you get good grades, man, you, you do all your chores, woody wop, woody wop. When your birthday come and when Christmas come, man, I'm going to lace you down. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, man, you, you've been, you been putting in work in the studio. You've been writing your bars. You've been perfecting your craft. You've been, you know what I'm saying, man, making sure every track is the way you want it, you know what I'm saying, to get it to the best perfection, man. And then when you, you put it out there and then you get that expectation of what you really wanted plus more, man, that's that's just that's that that that's that's an elated feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? It's elated to hear from, from my peers such as yourself, man, to be like, hey man, that's rolling, that's jamming. Because that let me know, hey man, I'm headed in the right direction. Hey man, I must be doing, you know, something right, bro. So once again, man, just just big big salute on that to you as well, bro. Man, I'm play going hard in a little while though, but um, uh, you you say hey. Christmas uh, all day, all day, every day. But um, are you the are you the kind of guy that keeps that Christmas tree up twenty four seven, three six five? Is that what you uh, doing? type of 
beat or one genre of rap, if you will. So I'm I'm pretty open when it comes to, hey, man, what you think about this track? It got to be pretty mm-hmm. bad for me to be like, oh, I, I ain't messing with that. Or it just got to be, you know, I ain't going to say totally out of my vibe, but I just, if, if I'm not feeling it, man, it just got to be pretty, pretty rough. You know what I'm saying? I can... I feel like I can tend to adapt to any uh any beat, man. Sample, uh smooth, jazz, uh hip hop, man, uh trap, man, whatever, bro. You know, I, I feel like I can adapt to it. And that's just I don't you know, I'm not speaking to be arrogant, it's just I've been rapping for a little minute, man, and it's just man, you gotta be, you know, well adapted in your craft, man, you know, so I'm just trying to eat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to eat, bro. When I get thrown the beat, man, I'm trying to 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 give it my best shot every time, bro. You know, I'm trying to put the game winner on that joker. So if that's if that's what it takes, man, that's just what it takes until we get the results we need. You know what I'm saying? Until that, like once again, until that manifests into into reality. You feel me? What you say? I could I could tell. I could tell just by you know uh, checking checking you out and just being appreciative of. You know, it, it doesn't take, I mean, it, it takes a lot. And I'm just saying, like I said, I mean, we, we do interviews, we talk it up, we play music, but also, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we come forward with, like, just real feedback, and I'm just impressed by, you know, what you're trying to do with yourself. So here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Going Hard, we're going to come back, and we're going to talk to you about projects, what you got going on. And also I want to talk to you about that One at All video that's out on YouTube, and people need to go and check it out because, uh, you know, it's uh, I subscribe to Cool Down Music Group, and I need everybody wow. out there to do the same as well. So I need everybody. I'm talking about people that's listening, that will be listening via download. I, I need y'all to go do that. So and I, and I also need you guys and girls to go follow my man, uh, T-Dot, on Instagram at play T-Dot right now. And if you want to book this guy, you know, 2020, I mean, pandemic's knock on wood coming to an end, vaccine's coming. Um, not only is the vaccine coming, <laughs> T-Dot's coming as well. So make sure y'all go ahead and book this man, play T-Dot at gmail.com. So we're going to rock with this, going hard right here on Next Legacy. We're going to come back and talk future projects. T-Dot the Great. Man, you heard me on this one, though. Next Legacy Radio, I am Brandon here. Damn. I mean, every time I wow. listen to that, bro, whoop, laced it, laced it. <laughs> Straight time. <laughs> Told you, man. What a like my workout joint, bro. <laughs> hey man, hey, you hurt me on that one, bro. You hurt me on that one. That one, that one's dope, dope as shit. Uh, you got man, you got man. Come on, man. Listen, y'all, y'all better listen. Do this now, and I'm telling y'all, y'all do this now because you're gonna regret it later. You could do it later, but I mean, it's just like you buying stock right now on T dot. So if you follow this man on Instagram right now and play T dot. It's just like you getting the early, the early entrance to something that's gonna be greater and greater and greater and greater. Cause when this man hit, you know what I'm saying, five hundred thousand, one point five million followers, he's gonna remember those first few thousand. That's gonna be like, listen, y'all was with me from day one, kind of sorta. You know what I mean? So y'all do this now, follow this man. <laughs> you feel me on on, on Instagram? Play T dot. Make sure you book this man. Play T dot at Gmail. And uh, and, and and before I ask you a question, uh, I got to talk to you about because we kicked the show off with one it all. Um, the video came out, um, you know, uh, earlier like what a couple months ago, and um, yeah, you know, it's getting a lot of love, getting a lot of love. A lot of people are saying it's straight heat. Love this song. People on. On, on my little radio chat room right now, they're like, "Listen, never heard this guy, but I'm vibing with him. I fucks with this guy." So, um, uh, who who comes up with the ideas on uh, on the video treatment? Is it is it you and your collaborators, or is it just you? Man, it's me. Um, I talk it over with my uh, once again shout out DJ Doc Cooler, man. That's that's my my, my CEO, man. He's you know the unofficial you know manager slash unofficial manager, man. It just you know, you got to have your team, man. Uh, you know, if you're an artist out there trying to do it by yourself, you're just gonna have a lot of headache and a lot of a lot of confliction and a lot of confusion, man. Because it, it, this is a tough game to, to to navigate through yourself, especially if you haven't done it before. But I, I navigate this with my team. I navigate this with my wife, bro, and I navigate this with my videographer, man. And we we all kind of pin what we like, what we don't like, what we able to, you know, say, hey, we able to agree to disagree, so to speak, and then we just go from there, man. Um, 
the air, of course, the edit is the most important thing. You know, you just want to get the outcome that you're uh, that you're anticipating what you saw before you actually took, you know, shot the visual and then uh, just just getting into there, man. Shout out my boy uh, Huey Rawls, man, out there in Dallas, man. He didn't shot the last uh, last three visuals that we didn't shot, man. Uh, the going hard, the want it all, and then the above standards as well, man. But we got some more vids coming soon, man. Uh, we, 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 like I say, I was just talking on my live a moment ago, man. We got some things in the works, man. We might, you know, might be able to give a little, a little sample to a new song if we got time for all that. But yeah, we working, bro. It's out you. I could tell, man. I could tell. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it all. Like I said, being able to, being able to uh, be a part of this now is definitely a blessing. And not only that, just being able to see you go get it is definitely uh, inspiring on a lot of different levels. Cause. You know, um, you know, we I, I tend to never want to take music for granted, and I'm sure you're in that lane too. And I know there's a lot of people who expect, you know, people to put out good music, and and people expect certain things for certain people. But uh, you know, a lot of in a lot of cases, it's good when you're just able to just drop something, just you know, all right, here we go, boom, there you go. You know what I mean? And at the at the same time, um. I always feel like this when it comes to to just the effort that you put in. A lot of people don't understand it takes time. You know, you just can't, you know, a, th- a three-minute song could take a week in certain cases. You know what I mean? Like from, you yeah. know, lazing down vocals to production to, you know, uh, you know, dubs and all that shit. Like a lot of people don't know, like, you know, a three-minute song could take a minute. Um, what do you say for these people out here that's listening that is trying to find a niche, trying to find a lane in this industry, and they 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 feel in a certain way. Either they feel like you know what I can't I can't fit, um, I can't do this. Um, they got self, you know, uh, they got self doubt, and they they just really don't know if they can do it. So what what do you say to these people out there? Uh, first thing, man, is just be 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 uh be sure be sure that you sure. You know what I mean? Be sure that. If you're going to pick this up, this is something that you really want to do because it's easy to say, oh, man, I want to do it because such and such is doing it. If they can do it, I can do it too. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you got to know yourself as a person. If you, you know, type person that's going to pick something up and not follow through with it or if you, you, you allow distractions to get you off track, if you, uh, you know, let other things knock your focus off, man, this this may not be for you because, like you was just saying, man, there's so much that goes into this as far as your time uh, investing, as far as your bread, um, you know, uh, you know, tension. You know, you, you get sometimes you can be up and down, you know, uh, not just physically, but, you know, mentally, bro. You know, you want to you put in all this time and you want to get the, once again, you want to get those expectations that you, you expecting from it. And not all the time that's going to happen. So. You got to hit the drawing board again, and that that's, uh, you know, checking that ego at the door, man, making sure that, hey, man, is it is it me or is it, man, people, you know, or people just saying, uh, you know, not feeling what I'm coming with. And, you know, once again, that's 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 up for that artist or that individual to decide. But you run in there and, you you, you know, you're comfortable with what you're doing. You, you bumped your head a couple times. Okay, I did this last time. I'm not going to do it this way this time. So. You figure your way out, and you know you you you, you, you as a you know kind of like a possum man. You find your way through the dark, and you 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 get where you need to be. You feel me? So mm. just keep grinding, man. Mm. Don't 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 let these people or you know these outsiders don't let social media and what you see other people think they're doing or you know what it may seem they're doing seem so you know on top. Man, just focus on your journey, your path, and if you're doing it for the love and you're doing it for what you what you true for, man. Shit, it's gonna fall into place, bro. And I, I just can't get off of that tip, man. Doing what you do based on being yourself, everything will, will fall in fall into place, bro. Game is laced right here by T Dot on Next Legacy Radio. I am branded here and listen, go follow this man right now on Instagram right now, play T Dot. Make sure you go ahead and go to play T Dot at Gmail dot com if you want to book this man in twenty twenty one. So mm. I'm a, I'm a tap in I'm a tap in and, and ask you a couple of questions as far as you know other you, I know you got a, you said you got some other things on deck um, you know are you because a lot of people are into singles right now they want to put out singles with a video put that on Spotify and you know um, Amazon Music stuff like that or whatever are you more of an album drop with people you know you people know the name of the Name of the album, when it's coming out, release date, so people can get hyped up for it. 
Are you going to, like, drop one overnight like Eminem did with, like, an album? When he dropped an album overnight, nobody expected it. I really think uh, surprise is the best method in my, for, for, for me, myself, bro. And I can't, like I said, I can't speak for other artists and, you know, what, what their, uh, what their audience may be into or what, what 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 engages their peers or engages their audience. But, uh, you know, surprise, man, keeping people guessing, man, that's just kind of the, the name of the game. When people are liable to expect what you're coming with, they're not as engaged or they're not as entertained or interested in what you got because they're already expecting what you're doing. But if you got right. something a little unorthodox or if you got something that's, uh, you know, as far as when you come and talking about distributing this music, man, you just, you know, keep people on their toes, keep them interested, man, keep them, you know, keep them shook up, keep them uh, unbalanced, if you will. And that way they're like, oh, man, he came. I didn't expect he, I didn't even know he could come this way. Or I didn't, I thought he was taking a break. I hadn't seen him post or put anything out recently. And it's like, okay, boom, now he back with it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just, man, shoot, you running like that, bro. You can't, you can't really lose because people can't, People are trying to guess your moves, and they can't guess what's inside your head. You feel me? I feel you for this reason. They don't. They don't. The hype for albums isn't once what it was. Now, people are still doing it, which is fine. Um, you know, and I don't have nothing against that either. Like, if you got an album that you about to name, and you know it's coming out February, whatever, blah blah blah. That's great. You know what I'm saying? Also, what's cool is, and, and I mentioned Eminem because I remember when I woke up one morning and I was looking on social media, and I'm like, wait, he dropped an album? And then that was the right. conversation for a while. Like, you know what I mean? Because everybody was dissecting the album and people wasn't expecting it, and then, bam, it just came out the way it did. Saying that to say this, you know, you can win either way, but to your point, uh, you know, the the best is yet to come, and when you don't know what's coming – you know, it's going to take a while for people to dissect it or digest it or, you know what I mean? Like the excitement hmm. is just like, uh, you know, it, it, it just, it's a different kind of feeling that I'm starting to, that I'm starting to really understand. And especially when it comes to music, because um, it is different. It is, uh, it is one of these things where you, people got to really pay attention. Your team's got to really be on point and you really have to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? It's push the right way. So, you know, saying that, and saying this, like, I, I always feel like, you know, when it, especially now, 2020, about to be 2021, I still believe yeah. in music marketing. I still believe in old school radio. I still believe in, you know what I'm saying, listening to the, you know, the songs. Oh, my shit's being played on the radio and, and having the feeling that you really, you really, you know, can't find nowadays. Like, you know, you got to find these niches in this industry that you can only experience in this industry. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, real talk. I mean, it's just like, bro, you know, kind of back what we were saying, was like, man, I think singles are, you know, it's not a bad avenue to go, man, because that's going to build up your, your engagement for a lot of independent or, you know, underground uh, new artists, man, because who's going to listen to an album if they haven't heard your first two songs, if you will? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to start mm -hmm. somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to start off on a motorcycle and you haven't rode a dirt bike or a bicycle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> give them some, right, you know, give right. Them so they can walk to that joint with, bro, and then, okay, if they vibing with me, then you can see, okay, who's vibing, me, who's vibing with me? Okay, how many I got vibing with me? Okay, let's turn this up a notch. Let's go in the, the same thing, but let's let's crank it up and let's make this part two a little bit better, if you will. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shoot, mm. you just got to, you know, you, man, that honor, you know, that mirror will tell you the truth. And then, you know, we got so many tools that we didn't have back, you know, you mentioned marketing and stuff, you know, as far as music promotion, man. You know, you had to really be on your investigation as far as to finding out who's playing your stuff where as far as, like, uh, you know, with your distro kid and, your, you know, your CD baby and all that stuff. But now, man, right. it's such a privilege to have this all at the tip of your phone, man. You log into your, your stuff, man. You're like, okay, I'm getting played here. I'm getting played here. Let me push in these markets. You know what I'm saying? And then that kind of builds right. up your your organic traffic and your, you know, your, your um, what am I trying to say, your organic traffic along with your uh, – you know, your uh, traffic on your IG and your socials and all that, which gives you your, your engagement and stuff like that, man. So all this is, you know, you got to keep up with your stats, man, and, and, and that's going to basically tell you where you need to go. That's going to give you the blueprint. It's not going to lay it out for you, and it's not going to make it happen for you, but it's going to give you some key indicators on 
what you need to do to make things better and, and continue to thrive in a good way, man. Mm. Mm, and you said it right there when you said that mirror will tell you the truth. You know what I mean. And also, like you know, how you gonna how you gonna ride a ten speed when you ain't even rode a big wheel yet? But that's just me. You know what I mean. Like you got to take these steps in general as far as how things are, are rocking. And I could I could definitely respect where you're coming from. T dot's my guest. Next Legacy Radio. Make sure you follow my man on Instagram. Play T dot. Also, play T dot at gmail dot com if you want to book this man going into twenty twenty one. Best you do it now. Best you do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Um, I'm gonna put you on the spot, T Dot, the great, and ask you, okay, who who's your top five? Top five hip hop artists. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's always okay, a hard okay, question okay, for okay. everybody. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> This has to be in order. It got to be in order. All right, cool. We're gonna nah, do it like this. Nah, not in order. Just, just whatever you nah. see fit. Who's your top five? Okay. All right. Big Creek gonna be in my top five. Uh, one, Old Wayne is gonna be in my top five. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Oh man, this sucks, bro. Uh, I gotta put, I gotta put Kendrick in there, bro. I gotta put Kendrick in there. Okay. I gotta put Drake in. A lot of people ain't gonna like that. I gotta put Drake in there. And this, it, it, this is it's really. I'm gonna give you six. I'm gonna give you J Cole, and I'm gonna give you Big Sean. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm, I'm gonna roll with that, bro. I'm gonna roll with that. Okay, okay. Respect, respect, respect. Because if I start naming names, you're gonna be like, damn, I should have named that person too. So you know, man, from, it's just, bro, it's from... too many, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I like so much music, man. I, I can't even. I feel like I'm cheating. Some. I feel like I cheated ten more people just because I only mentioned six. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Because when I throw out like you know what I'm saying you because you know because you talked about Ludacris earlier, you, you know Nipsey Hussle, Tupac. You know you start naming names, you're gonna be like, damn, I could have, I could have named. And it's hard, and that, and that's what makes the culture so. So special though, because you can, you know, the top five for anybody is gonna always be debatable, but you know, Definitely. it just makes the history so much, so much better to just be able to have a discussion like that. Because I mean, you could name any top five, but then you know, you can have like one of your okay. So I'm, I'm gonna do this. What, are, what are some of your most memorable hip hop moments ever? You know what I mean? My From moment. a video being dropped okay. or an album coming out or whatever. You talking about for myself or just viewing viewing hip hop as the culture? Hip hop history, culture. What, what are what are some of your most like you know iconic moments in hip hop history according to T. Dot the Great? Oh man, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm hitting okay, this so man with some hard ones tonight. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely you make me you make me you make me think a little bit. I like that. I like that, bro. Oh. Uh, I definitely like man when Tigger had the basement. As far as when artists would come through and really do like real freestyles, bro, it was kind of you know hey. messing up and all that, bro. That was that okay. was real dope. That was real di- dope in hip hop. Um, shoot, if you was if you was coming up back then too as well, everybody know Uncut was 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 real deal, man. You got to watch all of the <laughs> during the daytime. Shout out to Uncut, hey. DC Uncut, you feel me? Hey T, hey T, all right, all right. Tip, tip drill, uh, B T uncut at night though. Just saying. Hey, hey, Just you saying. already know. <laughs> all the way up, all the way up. You feel me? The whole baseball team and such and such house is ready. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. All right, what else you got? What else uh, you got? Because I know you got more. What you got? Let me see. Let me uh, I'm trying to think, bro. Okay, um, big. Okay, definitely, man. Tupac and Biggie being killed, man. That's that. That's big, man. Of course, Nipsey. Uh, True. Nipsey being killed, man. Any of these, you know, I'm not gonna say any, but man, artists that I I know I listen to, even Mo Three, man. Shout out to Mo Three, man. Um. Yep. Man, it's just it sucks, bro. Um, we we in a culture that's man that's 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 kind of straps us down in certain ways, man, and it's. It's, it's 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 very important that you know the artists of influence and even the artists that don't have major influence. If you got influence with one person, man, you want to try to touch them in a positive way, man. Positive, uh, positive light, man, and just be able to 
give them something that they can take away that can help build them and mold them and, you know what I'm saying, inspire them, bro. You know, it's so much so much drama, so much violence, so much negativity on all other plateaus, man. We don't have to put it on ourselves as artists or as in this culture, man. So that that that's big for me too. Um you know, um just, here's how just, you know, here's how here's how T Dot is winning right now and I'm gonna tell you this for this reason. And all the people out there and like I said, I got I got I got radio uh, station vibes from a lot of people in different countries right now tuned in, listening to this. They listen to the interview. They listen to the music. You know what I'm saying? They get a reaction out of it. And, you know, a lot of positive reactions coming out of this. But this is why you're winning right now. So you mention all the people and, and losing a lot of, you know, uh, icons in this industry, you know, does make you think about, you know, the, the, the highs and lows of, of, of any any genre of music, really, when you think about it. You know, hip hop always had a stigma in a, in a lot of ways because of you know X Y Z, uh, you know people's uh, you know affiliations with certain things or certain other people or whatever. But here's why you're winning. Yeah. In, in the days of in the days of you know like uh, you know let's just go Easy E Rufus Records. Like you know everybody know Easy's background. You know where and how he started off. You know what I'm saying selling drugs, trying to you know make a living, and he turned that into something greater. Um, to say that, a lot of people learned uh, a lot of hard mistakes from a lot of hard lessons that was learned in general with, you know, that. You go Tupac, you go, you know, a lot of different places. But now it seems like it's okay to be in the position that you're in, being a father, being a husband, being a coach, being a mentor, and having a career in addition to your hip-hop career that inspires people so it's cool now was it cool back in the 90s late 80s or whatever it probably would have been but it probably wouldn't have been as appreciated back then as it is now so that's one of the reasons why you're winning already before you even had the extreme success that I know you're going to have. So I'm just putting that out there for all the people out there that's still striving, for the people out there that's still trying to figure out their lane as far as what they need to do. Look at this man, T Dot for for an example. Be the uh-huh. example. Don't be don't be that person that's just going to emulate what somebody else did just because. Be inspired by it. There's a difference, right? Man, it's got to be, bro. It's got to be, man. That's you know. That's why you know, as artists, man, we're giving that voice, man. You know, if we're giving a voice, man, you, the power of the tongue, not just for other individuals, but for yourself, is very important, man. So it's, 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 it's you have to be very aware of how how you speak speak on things in your life and the other's life and in, in, in your in your in your circumstances and in your environment, man, because that's ultimately going to determine how you think, how you move, how you mold, how you form into, you know, your future self, man, whether that be tomorrow or 10 years from later. So if you start now with the right, you know, the right things to, that that's going to lead you into positive, you know, um, uh, an, an Excel atmosphere, man, to, to grow and, 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 and expand and whatever you're doing, whether it be your, your nine to five, you know, your hobby, your sport, your, your music, your art, you you you're gonna grow, man. So that that's what it's about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we got a responsibility, you know, to ourselves to owe, to owe ourselves that, man. You know, we taught so you know so many times, not so many times. We just taught to kind of almost you know not not like yourself or not be happy with what you have or, or where you at in this life. And man, if we're not going through anything, we're not gonna be able to appreciate the good times we do have when we get there, man. So it's just man staying focused and pushing through, bro. Man, I'm trying to be like you when I grow up, man. That's all I'm trying to say right now. Like, you know what? You are already this here. Is big. This is big. This is big. I'm going to ask you a couple more questions before I let you go. T Dot's my guest on Next Legacy Radio. And uh, if if you could collab with, you know, an artist or two or three, which which uh, which 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 people would it be? What what you know? What are the three people that you would like to work with? Oh man, uh, shoot, bro! You gonna make me pull a playlist out, guy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I would definitely love to connect with. Uh, I, I I haven't had many songs with female artists, bro. I would love to make a song with like Janine and Ico. Um, shoot, man, uh, rap artist, man. I would I would have loved to make a song with Nipsey, no doubt, bro, no doubt. Um. <laughs> Trying to think, bro. Uh, man, uh, oh man, I 
Uh, you you gonna make me go to the playlist, bro? Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm listening Dude. to in my playlist now, bro. Uh, I I I'd make one with uh with Lil Baby, bro. I mean, Lil Baby is one of the hottest artists of the year, bro, and he's yeah. able to hold his own name, bro. So you know, man, Drake. I would love to make a song with Drake, bro. A lot of people don't yeah. know Drake is. Drake 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 is one of the goats, man. And dude got yeah. plenty of bands out there. And when you there, think bro, about I'm it. Talking. And when you think about it, like, trying to navigate through, like, you know, crazy times as far as, you know, how to market yourself and put yourself out there, um, you know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, the baby, Drake. Drake's been consistent for a long time, so, you know, he's right up there. So, you know, I think maybe 10 years ago, I don't think I really appreciated the grind that he was really about. Uh, you know, now I started really being like, you know what, that – that dude is 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 gone, you know, as far as he's gone and he's doing great for himself and he's marketing himself great. Cardi B is another one where it's just like, you know, she went from where she went to where she is now. So you got to respect the hustle that a lot of these people are putting forward. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I can say is make room for T-Dot the Great. He's coming. You know what I'm saying? The vaccine is here in 2021. So if y'all want it, y'all make sure y'all go to play t dot at gmail dot com. That was people's doing. It was like T got. I'm gonna start rumors. T dot got the vaccine. He got what? He got. No, they like, oh no. <laughs> that's good, that's what's going on. <laughs> my, my final my final question to you, man, is ten years from now, where's where's T dot? Man, ten years from now, man, I plan to see myself uh, having, you know, uh, having my money working for me, having my assets, my businesses, my uh, my plans that I'm working on now to be actually working for me, man, in a place where I can um, help people out that 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 uh, give people the help that I receive in in the music and in life, um, you know, in my career and, and just in general, man, to be a be a helping hand and a, and a uh, perpetuator for people's dreams and goals to be completed, whether it be school, whether it be a craft, whether it be a trade, whether it be music, man. I just want to be able to help, inspire, and motivate people uh, on different levels to, 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 to overcome any any obstacle, whether it be physical or mental, man, and just be able to, uh, you know, provide and, and, and uh, leave something behind for my family, man. So that's, that's ultimately where I see myself in the next 10 years, man, continuing to uh, – Stack this bread, make good music, um, push good merchandise, and uh, I actually want to get into songwriting, man. Um, you know, I know every artist can't last on the on the spotlight forever, so man, that's just something I've kind of been thinking about as well. Um, being able to write write hits for for artists that are able to uh, perform them and, 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 and entertain us with them, man. So once again, just having that money work for work for me, working smarter, not harder, and. Uh, Building um bigger and better for uh for for the future, bro. Sounds like uh building a legacy to me. I don't know about you, but that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. And hey, hold up, hey, hold up. That I mean, you write, you write, you write your own raps. I mean, so you already writing songs. So you're gonna start writing it for other people, not raps, but you know what I mean. So you already a songwriter. So you just gonna you just gonna graduate or evolve into like doing other shit. You know what I mean. So you already got that. You that's already true. got that. You got that. No, I love it. Why not? I love it. Why not? There you go. All the people out there listening right now, make sure you go ahead and follow my man on Instagram at play T dot and make sure you book this man at play T dot at gmail dot com. And I'm um I gotta tell you, bro, dope ass interview. Thank you for uh you know uh, touching down and, and I want I want uh I want some access to, you know, any of the new shit you got soon. Visuals songs, anything that's released, you know, and then maybe we could take callers too in the process, you know what I mean? So, you know, but I gotta Definitely. but I gotta say before I let you go, I gotta I gotta tell you before I let you go, I'm proud of what you're doing. Like I said, from you know, from one man that, you know, like I said, we just met. We had no dialogue up until today. But I definitely gotta say that not only am I you know, I became a fan before we even had this dialogue because I just I just like I said earlier I'm feeling what you're doing. I'm feeling what you're about, and I see your drive. I hear it too. Every song that I that I've heard, every everything that I've kind of like, you know, kept my eye on, 
it, it seems like you're just going to keep pushing that envelope every single step of the way until you get there. But then you seem like you that dude that's going to do that for other people, too. And to me, that should be commended. That should be appreciated. You get your flowers today, and you're going to get it every time you continue to keep being a better person going forward. You know what I mean? Because I know you're doing it for yourself, for your family, for your legacy. So off top, you get a lot of respect for me, bro. So I appreciate it. Man, I appreciate you, Brandon. That's love, man. That's real respect, man. That's that's real, bro. Like I say, hearing that from the from the peers that's that's grinding in the in the trenches with me, in the mud with me, if you will, bro. That 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 mean you know that mean more than having somebody that you know that's on top saying, hey, bro, I I I really you know I'm jamming with you or whatever. So, man, that's love. That's respect, man. Once again, big shout out to you and your platform, Next Legacy, for having me, bro. Um, shout out everybody that was tuned in on on on, on the uh, on the on the uh, satellite radio. Shout out to my people that's tuned into the live, who 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 chopped in, who came in, who commented. Shout out to my team, cool down. Shout out to Doctor Jack. Shout out to the links, whole lot of link shit. Tell them to play T dot. You heard me. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate you, my man. Stay up, and I'm sure you will hear. We will hear more. We'll stay connected because we already got each other locked in. So you know what I'm saying. Yep. We fam going forward so you know what i'm saying off top happy holidays to you and the family and uh you know what i'm saying Thank christmas you, every day at your house christmas tree up there 365 at his man's house right now <laughs> t dot <He> got... <laughs> much love bro <laughs> Thank you, you got it brother next legacy